Well, when you picture a Ford and a Ferrari, you probably think about two very different cars in your mind. But back in the 60s, after a botched business deal, the U.S. car maker wanted to go head to head with the Italian racing giant. And the story that followed ranks among the best in sports history. It's told in the new movie Ford versus Ferrari with Josh Lucas and John Bernthal, including how it all got started in a Detroit boardroom. What if the Ford badge meant victory? and men at where it counts with the first group of 17-year-olds in history with money in their pockets. This would take years, decades, to test and develop a race team capable of taking out Ferrari. Ferrari's bankrupt. Enzo has spent every lira he's got chasing perfection. You know something? He got there. But now he's broke. Josh and John, good morning. This movie's got it all. You got like the tense drama in the boardroom and lots of loud cars. It's a little something for everybody. Well, we were just saying, you said you were going to get a babysitter. I was like, don't get a babysitter. Take Bring your kids. kids. John took his Bring kids. kids. I was going to say, my, there's nothing my little boy loves more than race cars. There's a lot of race cars in this movie. Yeah, a lot of race cars. Yeah. It's, it's, had you even heard this story before? Because I, I actually hadn't, and it is an incredible story. Any of us really were, you know, none of us are particularly car guys. It's one of the things that's interesting about the movie. It's really about history and all these other things as well. But uh, yeah, we were not necessarily car guys. Yeah, I was wondering do you have to be a motorhead? Although you guys were just out on our plaza and you were revving up the engines, and it seems like you really you enjoyed that. But you don't have to be a big race car enthusiast to get something out of this. Do you, I don't John? think so, but I, but I think you'll understand racing a lot better. I mean, that was sort of my education on it, and and uh, I think it's like one of these great kind of classic sports movies. I felt like from when we were kids, like Hoosiers or, or, or Rudy, and 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 yes, I did take my kids to the the, <laughs> the premiere eight, six, and four, and and they just loved it. I they bet. just loved it, and it, I think it's a great movie for the whole family. And you know, it, I mean, this is a time. It's a great time for television. It's a great time for streaming. But this is a movie. Like this is one you want to go to the theaters. And like see. I was saying, you know, it's one of those movies where, particularly if you see it on IMAX, the scope of it, the cinematography, the sound design, you just, you know, you don't get that in your house as much as it's you know nice to watch a movie in your house this one's this one's different i heard they actually like crashed the real cars this isn't cgi or graphic this shot right here yeah. what you're seeing right there is a pretty st stunning moment in the movie which actually happened in the race as well there's a lot of crashes you know back then it used to be very common that race car drivers would die during these races yeah um, which is part of the whole drama and power of the movie uh, but yeah, they did some amazing things like shoot cannons out of or cars out of cannons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you right. guys, you didn't have to do stunts because you were executives, right? You play Lee Iacocca, who is of course now you know a, 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 an icon. But when you play him in this role, he's he's young. I mean, he's a, just a, another marketing guy in Detroit. Yeah, I think uh, it, it was an interesting uh, challenge. One I'm I'm really grateful for. You know, I, I, everything about Lee that everybody knows. You, you know, he's this titan of industry. You know, but yeah, this focuses on him at a time in his life when he was young and hopeful and ambitious, uh, the son of immigrants. You know, and, and and very much a fish out of water in that company, and uh, a real honor to portray him. I hate to tell you this, but Josh, if there's any villain in the movie, I think it might be you. Right? I mean, you're kind well, of like yeah. Look, you're a suit. I, I keep not just defending Leo. BB. Leo BB defended this decision, which I don't necessarily want to give away because it's sort of the crux of the movie, yes. to the end of his life. And Carol Shelby, who Matt Damon plays, also defended his choice as well, which were exactly the opposite, his choice to ask Ken Miles to do something. So mm -hmm. that's part of the whole story. Um, and yet, at the same time, I don't know, I, I, I enjoyed very much, and I hope people enjoy uh, disliking the character. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> makes it interesting. By the way, this, of course, we're thinking about Cars, do you, you must remember your first cars. Do you remember, John, do you? Yeah, I had a uh, 1993 Mazda 323 hatchback. No car radio, no air conditioning. Oh. I, I did strap in a, a boom box onto the... <laughs> The dashboard. Did it have power steering? I had an old Mazda, no. and it was like you'd have to. Just you you got pull on that sucker. On that yeah, get wheel. your weight into it. Yes, yeah, exactly. How about you? My dad handed me down a Honda Civic, a brown Honda Civic <laughs> with three hundred thousand miles on it. Oh my god! 
gosh. And six weeks later, I left it on fire on the side of the road. <laughs> exactly. That's, that's about how it goes. By the, by the way, I was doing a little research. No, kidding. I, I really wasn't. But we did just do this. Josh, and I happened to see that you are in the People's Sexiest Man Alive issue. You're every age. You're, at the, you're in the every age section. I don't know what to say about that. I don't need John, I look for you. No, I campaigned hard. Yeah, you know, I, I tried. Mean, I sent in pictures. I know. You know just, but having yeah. to keep up the sexy all year long, you know, it's you a know, burden you don't it's want. really hard. Yeah. <laughs> you, Josh, don't, you don't need that. Pressure. Congratulations, brother. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much. The move okay. is, movie's called Ford versus Variety. It hits theaters Friday, and Josh and John say that's where you got to see it. 